My work is to create, build animated mechanical displays. You look at life and you reproduce life in animation, it's a lot of fun. And I have the pleasure to do that. There's always Christmas in the shop. Every day of the year, something is going on in the shop for Christmas. My name is Tippy. Welcome to my store. It's really nice to see you. I love mechanical mechanisms. I could not leave the house without coming back with a piece of junk, a television, wheels, gears, something to, I had to understand how things worked. I was always fascinated and I wanted to build a robot as a hobby. So I did and it was just a hobby, but it turned out to be the stepping stone in my life. And I was on the front page of the Times. And because of that article, I decided a few years later to go into business. And I've been building mechanical displays since then. I built a big mechanical Pinocchio for a restaurant in Brooklyn about 30 years ago. And when I put Pinocchio in the restaurant, everybody started calling me Papa Geppetto. Now, not for nothing, do I look like Geppetto? You know, I am Geppetto. I guess I'm the real Geppetto of Brooklyn. Dyker Heights uh, is an interesting story. Uh, a client of mine, a friend of mine, Frank, uh, Leone said to me, I want you to decorate my lawyer's house. It was Frank's gift to Mr. Palazzato at the time, Alfred Palazzato. And when I did the house, and it was beautiful, it really was, it looked like Rockefeller Center because I had wire angels, seven foot angels, I had reindeer all filled with lights. So when I did the house and I decorated it, I got a call from Mr. Palazzato in Florida and he said, I don't know what you did in my house, but I hear it's beautiful. I can't wait to come home and see it. Well. He was very happy, and I've been decorating the house, working there every year. No, slow. Hey, so slow. Mr. Palazzato passed away, so his wife didn't want to change the tradition. In his name and in his honor, we still do the Christmas display. And Santa gets a new coat every year, and he gets a new beard. Sometimes the pigeons sit on top of his hat and mess him up a little, so. We have to make sure he doesn't, he doesn't go out looking like an old dirty Santa. What Christmas was 35, 40, 50 years ago is not what it is today. But if you really look at it, you can't see the difference. It's still Christmas. <laughs>